Today we are going to learn about the installation of a microscope, a microscope of binocular and trinocular lenses. A binocular microscope takes in a ray of light and splits it into two rays, one for each eye. Similarly, a trinocular microscope takes in a ray of light and splits it into three rays, two for each eye and one for the camera. For the installation of the microscope, we need to now understand each component of the microscope. Starting with the installation of the trinocular microscope, let me introduce you to the major components of the microscope. This is the major component of the trinocular microscope with attached 4x lens zoom. The other three lenses are provided by the company. This is the 10x lens zoom, the 40x lens zoom and the 100x lens zoom. These are the two eyepieces which are common for both the eyes. This is the head of the microscope where the two eyepieces are joined. This is the installation CD for the software and this is the set of LN key provided by the company. Starting with the installation of the lenses, firstly we attach the 40x lens zoom. This is opened in this fashion and attached to the right hand side of the already attached 4x lens zoom. Next, we attach the 40x lens zoom in the similar fashion. Next we attach the 100x lens zoom Now all the four lenses are attached and this has to be kept in mind that all the lenses should be in the increasing order of their zoom Next, we attach the head of the microscope. Attaching the head to the microscope, we tighten the screw in this manner. And next, we attach the camera to the head. We have to use an LN key to open this cap. And next, we attach the camera to the head. We use an LN key to open the cap of the head and then we remove this portion of the cap and now we use the camera removing the cap of the camera we insert the head to the camera and now the camera is inserted in the head now we to we need to tighten this through the ln key now we insert the eyepiece to the camera removing the cap and the eyepiece are simply inserted in it. This is the complete hardware installation of the trinocular microscope. Now we move on to the software installation of the trinocular microscope. Understanding the ports of the microscope, this is the PowerPoint port and this is the fuse and this is the main on-off switch. The power cable 
earlier introduced is inserted in this fashion and this point is inserted in the power plug. Starting with the software installation, we insert this CD in the CD-ROM. One thing that should be noted is on the CD it is written for which model it is. Here it is written 5 megapixel camera. Similarly, it could be 1.3 megapixel camera or else why. After inserting the CD, the auto run window is opened in this fashion and there are two folders, one for the Windows 7 and the other for the Windows XP. This should be kept in mind that this software can run, can run only on two OS, that is the Windows 7 and the Windows XP. As our OS is Windows XP, we enter the Windows XP folder. Now we go to the .exe file on the right hand side and we press next. It is extracting files and installing the software. Clicking continue anyway. We accept the agreement and press next and then we choose the path for the folder to be made and we click install and we finish the installation. Now we have a successful software on our desktop wherever we have chosen the path. After installing the software we click on the AP view folder. and then we click detect camera. This shows AP cam 5.0C which means we have a 5 megapixel camera installed in a microscope. Next we set the pixel resolution which is set to normally 1280 by 960. Now we start the preview. The auto white balance option is usually used when the slide is changed for the color matching of the base color. Area white balance is similarly used. The advanced button is used for the gain and color contrast selection. The default values shouldn't be touched normally. If one wants to set the values, the parameter mode should be changed else the default values will be lost. In the other options, it gives you a high speed and normal speed frame speed. Normally a high speed is usually chosen and a bin pixel option is chosen. Frequency can be set to 50 hertz or 60 hertz depending on the frequency range. In the configuration option, we can set where our images are being so stored. We remove the tick mark button and we can give the file name whatever we want and then we can choose the option where we want to save our images. The image type is usually changed to .jpg. In the image process option, we have the following options for the image. Crop, mirror, invert left, rotate, sharpen, lighten, resample, flip, invert right, repair, blur and contrast. For this, firstly we need to open an image from the file section. Since we haven't captured any image yet, we need to go back and capture an image through the capture option. Now we again go to the image process and open the file. For cropping an image, we need to first select the area which we need to crop and then press crop. This image is cropped. 
then we can use the mirror option to find the similar kind of image in the else part of the image we can invert it left invert it right flip resample rotate by whatever angle we want blur sharpen lighten or contrast this is how the whole software is used for the microscope the image can be directly seen through the eye pieces as well for long lasting use of the lenses if harmed by some kind of oil it is cleaned with the help of acetone in this fashion applying acetone on the tissue paper and then cleaning the lenses for long lasting use the microscope is switched on and off from here after the proper use and then it is covered so that it it is protected from dust This is the complete installation of the trinocular microscope common for both the 5 megapixel camera and 1.3 megapixel camera except the software installation CD which is different for both and is clearly mentioned here thank you